So this is about a week after I have filmed this video that shows you how to set up an axolotl tank. A lot has happened in a week. There will be a very big surprise. All I'm gonna say is, this is our axolotl tank that we're about to set up. There is no axolotl in there. Enjoy the video. Here I'm gonna show you how to set up a chiller to a canister filter to cool down a tank. So this is suitable for axolotls and quite a few other things that require the temperature colder than what your ambient temperature is. So what a chiller is, it's like a mini refrigeration unit. It simply has an in and an out. So you need something like a pump or a canister filter, which is this thing here. If you don't know what a canister filter is, I do have a link at the end of this video that shows you how to set them up. For this little tank here, which is about a 60 litre tank, we are using a Resun 280, which means in 280 litres of water, which is about four times the size of this, it can cool the temperature down 10 degrees from ambient temperature. We're simply using a chiller that is rated for a lot bigger tank than what we've got because we know that it will cool the water down. So the main pump we're gonna use is this 1,000 litre canister filter, and it is just a simple Orca canister filter. How it works is the water siphons down into the filter, goes through the filter media, through the impeller, then it gets pumped back up into the tank. So instead of the water just going into the canister and then back into the tank, we've got the intake going into the actual canister filter. We have it going into the chiller. Then we have another return pipe from the chiller going back into the tank. It is that simple. You just have to make sure that your canister filter, and that's why we're using a thousand litre an hour one, is powerful enough to push the water back up. It's not gonna be a thousand litres of circulation in here. And if you are worried about too much circulation, if you've got delicate little axolotls or something delicate that needs to be kept cool, you can use your spray bars and that as well. So these canisters come with lots of bits and pieces. There is a spray bar. You can have that hooked onto that, have that aiming at the back. And if you watch the video in the end of this video, it'll show you all that sort of stuff. So that is our setup. So out of the tank, into the canister, into the chiller, then back into the tank. We're gonna get some water and we're gonna turn it on. And now we have the water in the tank. We're gonna start the siphon on the canister filter. Right, once it's filled with water and there's no more air bubbles coming out, we're gonna turn it on. Okay, at this point, when most of the bubbles have come out of that, you just wanna give it a few gentle shakes to get any air bubbles out of the media and that that's still present. Once you've shaken it a couple of times and the last few little air bubbles are out, next thing to do is turn on the chiller and that's gonna give us a reading. We're gonna set the temperature to what we want. So we seem to be at 24 degrees. What have we got it set at? We set at 15, that is probably a little bit too cold. Let's go to 18. If you just don't touch anything for a while, it will just set at 18. And now we're at 24, that little light coming on, little green flashing light, that means that it's chilling down. So we're at 24 degrees. In the morning, it should be about 18 degrees. We're just gonna wash out some sand, put that substrate in now, come back in the morning. It is the next morning and we are at 18 degrees Celsius, which is pretty perfect. That's what we set it at. We've got our substrate in the bottom. The reason why you want to use sand and not your normal aquarium gravel or larger pebbles for axolotls is because they can get impacted. And impacted means that when they go for the food, they don't have great eyesight, so they can swallow little pebbles or bigger rocks and it makes it nearly impossible for them to spit them out and that can damage and kill the axolotls. So a fine layer of sand is better. Some people don't use substrate on the bottom at all, but sand will give the axolotls something to crawl around in that. Our water is a little bit murky. It'll take a few days for all these fine particles because we did wash the sand out, but there's always fine particles to go through our filter and clear up. What we're gonna do now is get a pH test kit, which is one of these. We're gonna test our water. We want our pH to be about seven, which is neutral. So we're gonna use this stuff here, which is our acid regulator. Gonna place a little bit of this in each day over about seven days to slowly bring it down. We're also gonna use this, which is just a dechlorinator. About a capful does 200 liters. So in our 60 liter tank, we're only just gonna measure out a little bit of that. We're gonna quickly jump to our axolotl tank with our axolotls in it. And this is our four foot axolotl tank. It is exactly the same setup as the two foot tank you just saw me set up. 
We have our fine sand substrate on the bottom. We have a few logs and a few plastic plants. The reason we're using plastic plants is because in Brisbane where we live, a lot of the cold water plants need warm summers to survive. They're not full cold water. And because this tank is hovering at about 17 degrees, that is our chiller we're using for this bigger tank, real plants don't tend to last long term. So we see a lot of people use things like java fern, which is that plant there, which is actually a tropical plant. Long term in cold water, they're not gonna last. So you can muck around with a few different types of plants like Elodia, Valicinaria, they're on the screen there. See what works for you. This tank is the same sort of setup as I said it was the other one. The chiller was around the other side. That is our canister filter there, which is a 2000 litre canister filter. So double the size of the canister filter in the other tank. There is an axolotl right there. So axolotls will get about 35, 40 centimetres. So a lot bigger than that one. That one's about 20 centimetres or so to give you an idea very easy to maintain and keep they do not come out of the water if you want more information about axolotls we got a few videos from months ago but that is the intake there going into the canister filter then it gets pumped around that other tank into the chiller then back into the spray bar here just to sort of settle the water down a little bit so it's still pumping a lot of water around but there's not tons of circulation because axolotls kind of want to sit there like these two here and just chill. Very, very simple tank setup and layout. You want enough floor space so they'll be able to walk around. So that is a basic tank setup like that. We're gonna jump back to our two foot tank. And by now you've probably forgotten that this tank doesn't have an axolotl in it. The chiller is working perfectly fine, but it is at 25 degrees Celsius. Why have we got it at 25 degrees Celsius, you may ask? Because of those little tiny eyes right there. That is the eyes of a moon crab. A moon crab is a saltwater crab. This is full marine now. We had to use water and substrate and everything from another little setup because our moon crab that someone gave us a couple of months ago because they accidentally found it in a bucket of sand, we have a donated moon crab. But in the last week when we feed her and check out her eating, how cool is that? She just erupts from the sand. She has eggs. Those bright orange things are thousands of eggs. So we had to upgrade a tank. No idea if they're actually gonna go into a larval stage or not because I have not Googled moon crabs yet. <laughs> By the time this video is out, I would have Googled her and know a lot more about moon crabs. We have successfully kept her alive for about two and a half months now and she's going well. Did turn up with missing one claw as you can see in the video but so far she is going well and that claw will grow back once she molts a couple of times. So that is what has happened. Tank set up for baby axolotls. It is currently housing our female moon crab. If you did find this video amusing or got any information out of it, click the thumbs up so I know that would be wonderful. If you wanna watch more videos, just click the things on the screen and we will see you in the next video. Thanks heaps for watching.